we have been hosting a series of uh, weekly talks every Wednesday uh, since the confinement started in March. Artists and uh, makers, uh, historians, gallery owners have been our guests. And the purpose is to carry on the conversation on art and um, discover new talent. So Eleni, back to you. Where are you taking us now? Right, well, I'm going to share my screen now. A virtual welcome to Goldsmiths Hall. I'm going to be taking you to see an area which is never usually included on the tours, and that's the Goldsmiths Company archive. I'm in the archive vault now, and the records of the company are nearly as old as it is. They record life, our earliest ones, in 1334. It's all written by hand, and you can see these lovely illuminated capitals and some gold leaf here as well. If we move round, we can see these lovely windows, and these are painted glass windows. There are comments and questions. Everybody seems to be uh, uh, absolutely delighted. Lydia is asking if the windows uh, were removed during the war or did they survive or were they put after? Now, we've, had, we've looked quite extensively at um, how the hall was preserved during the Second World War. Not a lot of glass survived and this is the drawing room. And if you're thinking this room looks a little different, you would be right. It is lighter, it is airier, it has a slightly different decorative feel. And then you have these unicorns. Now unicorns are the supporters of the company's arms because they're associated with purity. And purity is what you're testing for when you're assaying a hallmark. I don't know if it's the, the height of this the ceiling, but it's not an oppressive place at all. And it's wonderful that uh, you are working towards making it always welcoming and the place of, uh, of the trade. So it's a very well used building. It's a living building. It's not a state your home behind ropes. Um, I hope you'll join us next week during our second uh, conversation where our uh, speaker will also be Sophia Tobin. She wrote a book called The Silversmith uh, Wife and it tells the story of how women actually could not have their own mark and could not be at the bench unless they were widows of uh, silversmiths.